Welcome to Papa's Perspective, an edition of the Giants Huddle Podcast. It's brought to you by Bob's Discount Furniture. And we're joined by Eli Manning, two-time Super Bowl champion. The Giants opening up the regular season in prime time against the Dallas Cowboys. Eli, you've seen this movie before, um, although it's rare that it's a home game for the Giants. But when you say Dallas and season opener, what's some of the things that come to your mind? Yeah, that's just, I uh, feel like that's that's just like the norm. That's just uh, opening week, uh, Dallas, uh, put them together. I guess it's drawing good numbers, uh, Bob, and, and everybody's uh, tuning in. I think it's exciting Sunday night uh, football to open the season at home. Uh, should be in great em- environment. And uh, obviously, uh, we, we've, we've done it before. You know, I remember, uh, you know, a couple of years opened up Dallas's, uh, you know, their new stadium um years ago and 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 played them the first week and so uh excited should be a great you know great atmosphere at home get the season started and um you know no no better team to start with dallas did did it give you guys a little extra juice um knowing that basically when the schedule came out you knew all right we're probably going to be in dallas on sunday night every year um obviously it meant that the league thought that you guys were good they were good um, and the rivalry sort of got ramped up a little bit more, even more than it was. Yeah, I think I think definitely so. I think it, you, you take it as as kind of an honor that that hey Sunday night, uh, you know you're playing in the opening week to start the season. Everybody is excited for that, and so I, I think it's a good thing. That means you're playing good football. That means both the teams are pretty good. I think the NFC East is is draws a great crowd of people. It's you know just such a storied. Uh, division been around a long time fans all over the all over the country tuning in so um you know i I think uh you know but it's also a big game you're starting the you know you don't have much time to kind of ease into the season you're starting the first game of the year uh in the division so you know we always say those divisional games count they kind of count double and and um and so, you know, at least it's at home now, you know, going on the road the opening week can be a lot. So having being at home, uh, your home crowd, that can definitely make a difference. Yeah, I wanted to travel to that sort of thought process with you. I mean, everyone gets so wrapped up in the season opener and prime time. But as you mentioned, it's a division game. They count double, especially the home ones. And, you know, no one's going to care near the end of the season when they start looking at the standings. Well, that was in week one, and there was a lot of hoopla. I mean, the games in week one are just as important as the games in week 17. No doubt. And and that's the great thing about about the NFL and football is that every game is important. Every single one. There's no... Hey, uh, you know, we can we can take a, a take a break. It's not baseball. You have 182 games. You know, every game, the difference uh, of one game can be the difference in, in making the playoffs and not making the playoffs. So, as I said, yeah, you can't just kind of ease in and and uh, you know you get a buffer game to to start. You know, it's it's all it's all going to be you know good teams. You, you got to play. Um, solid football if you expect to to win the game and you know that's uh, that's why these preseason games are important that's why you know training camp and getting off to a fast start keeping your guys healthy during that process where everybody's getting reps everybody's out in the field are so important because you want to come in um, you know everybody on the same page being sharp so you can uh, you can get that first win and, and feel good about the start of the season. With it being Dallas um, and you having played so many primetime games against the Cowboys, whether it was season openers there uh, or in-season Sunday night football games, either there or at home, uh, you know, you think about 2011 and that incredible comeback that kept your playoff hopes alive. You don't win that game. You don't get to the final game of the season hosting Dallas to play them in primetime. Um, but did the, the, the was it the fact that it was the Cowboys create just a little more juice with Jerry and the hoopla and what the Cowboy logo means and the fact that there's so many Cowboy fans all over the country? Yeah, no, I think it definitely uh, definitely makes a difference. And, you know, when you play the Cowboys as in the division, the fact that we did it so many years before, um, uh, you know, and played them that opening game, had such big games uh, against them. Uh, you know, we opened up their stadium and got a win. You know, 2011, you talked about winning, you know, winning there 
uh, late in the season, you know, you know, had a big comeback to win, played them at home last game, winner makes the playoffs. We win that game. We beat them in the playoffs in, in 07. So, um, you know, you know, there was a lot of kind of drama and, and a, a great rivalry between both teams. Um, and so you just kind of know that. I think it's also interesting that first game in the division, you know, the team so well, you played them two times, you know, last year, um, you know, I feel like in the in the preseason, you're always looking kind of like, all right, ha have they made any adjustments or have they changed their philosophy uh, on offense, on defense at all? What new schemes might they be doing? Um, and you're kind of looking for anything and there's always going to be a new wrinkle. There's always going to be, hey, they never play, you know, a certain coverage on, on 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 third down and all of a sudden, you know, the first third down, they do that. All preseason, they played man every third down anything and now you know the first five third downs of the game they're playing some sort of zone so you, you got to be um kind of prepared to, to for the unexpected for things that they're, they're going to have new they they've been hiding under their sleeve and that's just part of playing that first game against a team you know really well what was coach coughlin's messaging for these primetime games because i'm guessing as you got older you kind of figured it out you got a lot more time to kill uh, on Sunday, uh, NFL players are creatures of habit. You like your routine, or even if it's a Monday night game, um, to sort of stay within your routine. Then you got younger guys on your team that are getting all hyped of it. Maybe they grew up a fan of the team you're playing in prime time, and they can't believe this and the lights and all that other stuff. Uh, what was the message of Coach Coughlin to kind of keep it simple? And as you grew as a player and got deeper into your career, how did you manage that expectation level as opposed to getting the job done? Yeah, I mean, I think Coach Coughlin's message is always uh, just trust your training and, you know, don't all of a sudden get to a primetime game and feel like, oh, I got to I got to do something uh, to make a splash or I got to got to, you know, go go uh, outside of my responsibilities um you know in a prime time game to to be that guy it's it's trust your training do what you've been doing in practice do what you've been coached do all the things you've been doing all preseason and, and in training camp and just do your job and that's that's how you make those big plays it's not trying to oh hey i'm gonna go rogue here and, and, and try this you know this new deal no 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 just hey do what you've been doing that'll give us opportunities to get hey get first downs move the ball uh, be consistent and and avoid those you know those mistakes. Um, and so I think that's that's the number one thing. That Sunday night game, it is different. Uh, you know because all season, all preseason. You know the good thing is preseason you are playing a lot of night games, so you're kind of getting into that night routine. And so with that first game being at night, it, it's pretty similar to what you've been doing, especially for those young guys sitting around a good bit during the day. Um, and just kind of having that routine set of, you know, how are you going to study? How are you, are you going to sleep? Are you going to take a nap? How are you going to spend that day? So you're fresh, you're energized and, and you're fired up, um, you know, late at night. And so I think it's sometimes it can be a little different when all you play all these night games in preseason in your first year, all of a sudden you're playing at one o'clock and you're like, oh, I got to wake up and get ready to play early today. So I think, you know, that transition uh, should be a little smoother because uh, of, of how it's all set up. As we saw last season, MetLife became a home field advantage for the Giants. The fans were unbelievable. Uh, they sort of rallied around the team. They rallied around the coach. They rallied around sort of the way they played. And these primetime games, especially at home, Eli, how important is it to start games a little bit quicker and not have that uneasy feeling? I think to the uh, 2011 regular season finale, you know, Victor Cruz makes that catch turns around the left side, goes 74 yards or whatever it was for a touchdown, you know, kind of break the seal early. Um, right. Is that important? You know, I think it's, I mean, I think it is important. I, I don't think it's the most important thing. I, I think you always say, hey, let's start fast. Uh, you know, that's always a game plan. Uh, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't mean like, uh-oh, we're in trouble now. So you got to kind of be careful of, of how you, how you, um, you know, think about that situation. Yeah, you know, at a home game opening season, the fans are going to be jacked up to start, you know, to start kickoff and everything. You want to keep them involved. You want to keep them fired up. They they want to stand up and cheer. They want to be loud. 
uh, at 830, you know, they probably had a few pops. So they're, you know, they're feeling energized and they're feeling rowdy. So you want to keep it. You don't want all of a sudden, you know, you know, you, you go three and out or the other team or Dallas, you know, does a long 10 minute drive and scores a touchdown where all of a sudden the fans are just, you know, sitting down for a long time. So, you know, that's the goal. If you can just keep the fans involved, keep them loud. Um, you know, have some big plays, have some third down stops and some, you know, the defense, our defense gets some three and outs. Those, those are great things, but you can't try to force them. You can't try to force the big plays. You, you got to just, you know, kind of goes back to what Coffin said, uh, do your job, trust your training and all that will play out. Finally, um, home field advantage. Again, I, I referred to it about yeah. what we saw last year and sort of a change in the Giants fans mentality, wrapping their brain around this try hard team. Uh, I think about the only playoff game ever in MetLife stadium history was against the Falcons. You had a lot of big wins in that building. Um, how did you feel that home field advantage? How did you feel? Uh, did, did you feel like at times it was a tremendous help for you guys? No doubt. No doubt. I mean, I think, um, you know, especially for the for the defensive side of the ball, that's that's when you want you know you want them being loud. You want to make it hard for the opposing offense to communicate, to make checks, uh, third downs getting loud where they have to use that silent count where your defensive ends can get that you know that half a second little jump, um, you know, and and so all those things uh, you know make that much a difference between you know getting pressure on a quarterback, getting a sack. Um, you know, when, when the crowd's rocking and, and, you know, all of a sudden the quarterbacks, you know, having trouble calling the play in the huddle, those things, they make a difference. It can, it can make the difference with, you know, whether you have time uh, to even make a, a, an audible or you're getting a delay of the game. And so all those things uh, are, are huge. And I think, um, you know, for the offense, it's just, you know, you want, you kind of want them being quiet. Like, hey, you're at work. You want them being quiet, but you want the touchdowns. You want, you know, those are the big times where they get to celebrate for a couple minutes, high fives. And, um, you know, when you when you score, when you get a lead, when things are going well offensively, again, those guys, you know, those fans are so, you know, so ramped up that that carries on into that defensive side. The defensive side is motivated to, hey, let's keep the fans standing up. Let's keep them loud. Let's get, a, you know, let's do our job here and, and get the get the offense off the field. Eli, we appreciate a couple of minutes kind of reminiscing about Sunday night football, primetime games, and the Dallas Cowboys. Thank you so much for a few minutes. All right, Bob. That was a lot of fun. That's Eli Manning joining us on Papa's Perspective edition of the Giants Huddle Podcast, brought to you by Bob's Discount Furniture.